Hello everyone, and welcome back to Mini Monday, the um, sort of semi-blog, semi-news videos that I do every Monday. As stated, this would be in three parts. The first part is going to be about things from the weekend, and the second part is going to be a little bit of theory crafting about the beast naggers, and the third part is just going to be a little bit of an update on the new mini on Monday. So let's let's get started then. Okay, so uh, over the weekend we got the Lumineth releases which are interesting and I've gone through those before if you want to check out the video where I go through the uh, Lumineth releases it's in the longest video yet which I'll put a link in the description also this coming week we had the preview on Sunday which was the Cursed City game and according to some rumours it's going to be 125 yeah, or about 160 US dollars from what I've been hearing but I could be wrong on that depending on how they work out the currency exchange in that Thing. So if I if it's changed, I will put the updated change on the screen now. Second part is the beast naggers, and uh, well, no one commented on what they wanted to hear about on the previous video um, but I got some likes which was nice thank you very much for that okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about pig dogs pig dogs were a sort of hybrid of um, a pain boy and um, a big mech pig dogs were a specialist that specialized in boars but I think what we're going to get in the beast naggers is, is something called a squig dog which is sort of like the same sort of thing as the old pig dogs in the old pre-booters list and then the old third edition white dwarf uh, feral orc list so what we're going to have is sort of like a hybrid character that can heal squigs and squig riders and also provide the repair of vehicles or what limited vehicles the beast naggers will have in the in the upcoming army list. So what were pig dogs? Well pig dogs had some really weird but yet interesting rules. Will these return? We don't know and I'm just going to use this as, as I said some theory crafting and some potential looks at what we might, what we might get. So pig dogs were able to do something called doping. They would dope a boar unit, a boar boy unit, or a an orc unit, and what they would do is there would be a table. It would basically be similar to the combat drugs that Dark Elder have, except it would be well, it would be the orc version basically, and it would have a few more funny results. And um, I think that would be interesting to have in the Feral Orc army or the Beast Nagger army. So let's hope that they come back and we get some cool new rules for the old Pig Dog or they might be called Squig Dogs. I, we don't know much about the army yet so this is all, as I said, this is all um, superstition and potential wishlisting. So what I'm going to do is if there's no kind of a comment for the next choice for I'll just do. I'll just go through the army list, think um, unit by unit, basically the older Feralorc army list. Now, Feralorcs did get some n rules in the Psychic Awakening books, and they included a unit which I thought that they wouldn't get called Mad Boys. I thought that would be a unit that they wouldn't include because they were a bit weird in the old rules. Because you'd have to roll a d6 and they would have different results. So what I might do next time is I might go look at those um, from the Psychic Awakening and from the old Freebooters list from the old Feral Orc list in 3rd edition and what we potentially might have in Mad Boy. Okay, so the last part of the video is about the new Mini on Monday that they released for, for a few weeks. Um, this one is the last one that they're doing apparently and it's a Sister of Battle model called Dogmata. Now, I have some issues with this figure because of the way she's holding the weapon. It looks rather unnatural and it looks very reminiscent of an old pose from a space marine librarian which I will put here. Now with plastic technology they should be able to do something a little more well a little more engaging than they have done this and uh, although the idea is interesting it's interesting but it's also silly at the same time like do you really need to give a religious army another kind of religious leader because if this is a chaplain right for the sisters of battle which is basically what they're saying. The Sisters of Battle already have those in the Canoness and the Palantines, the religious military order, so it's like they've taken the original idea of Sisters of Battle now and they've changed it into something else. Anyway, this is my little gripe with what the, the new model is and the background behind it. Anyway, so that's all, all for this week. Yeah, so I hope you had a nice time, even though the last bit of news is a sort of what the hell kind of take from it all. Uh, I hope you have a great time and uh, take care of yourselves and bye bye.